and that way I can get all of the data that the plane has. So like right now, the data here, all this stuff right here. Yeah. If I if I yank this cord, it's dead because the data is coming through this cord. I mean, so how are I supposed to get this into the plane? I'm gonna Without take I'm gonna take this cord. I'm gonna cut it right here, and then I can just stretch it as far as I want. It'll just work. Wait, what? Isn't that cool? So I mean, if I lose the plane, then I'm like, uh oh. But then it just flies back. Yes, that's that is that's the, gonna that's, be cool. Yeah, that's one of the features that I hope works well because that's why I want the GPS on here. That could be really cool. Why are you so tired? I don't know. It's All so right. Horrible so our goal is to take that GPS module and get it wired up and just see if it works. That's our hope. That's Do I get you some soldering, maybe? Yeah, and that's gonna. I don't know if somebody made this or something you can buy, but I think this is like a cell phone radio thing. So where are we supposed to solder this? We're gonna make a little board, and so we're gonna mount it outside the plane. This is a beagle bone. This is a beagle bone blue because it's blue and it's that's the style. Beagle bone blue. So that's really loud on the camera. So <clears throat> this. <laughs> This is called Windows. Runs on a PC. My my Apple laptop <coughs> is a Macintosh. It runs Mac OS. This is a Linux computer. It runs Linux. This is a Linux computer? No, I just said this is a Windows computer. <laughs> this is a Linux computer. Okay? Do you remember what my hope was? To get the red light on? To get the red light on! Is the red light on? <laughs> sort of. I mean, it blinks. It's blinking! I spent literally like 36 straight hours beating my head on the desk to get that red light to flash. And then guess what? It flashes. <laughs> and then guess what? And then it works. No, couldn't get connected to it. Really, okay. really, really, really sucked. So, I did eventually get connected to it. Okay. Do you remember what I said about what we're trying to do? What are we trying to do with that board? We are trying to make... So... We are trying to control the plane, right? Yes. This is a theoretical mock-up of the cockpit, okay? Okay. Now, first of all, this is a static-sensitive device, so quit playing with your hair. And then touch that thing up here, which is the ground, so you know you don't blow up the board when you touch it. Yeah, now you shorted yourself out. That's what this mat is for. This mat is designed to... Hey. Keep us grounded, okay? okay? It's not grounded though, but I'm just saying that's what that's. This is a special <laughs> mat. But here's what I want you to do. You see this thing here? Yes. I gotta tilt it so the camera can see it. That, as it sits right now, is connected to this. You see all these numbers? And it's leaning. And it's leaning. Is it leaning? Yes. Huh? Yeah. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this around this Whoa. way. Moving it on there. It turns around this way because this is technically the front. Yeah. The back or the butt. Like this. Okay. Now it's flat. Mm-hmm. Now do you see you see this up here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Southwest. Northwest. Okay, which way is north? Do you know? It's that, it's that way. It's that way. Okay. So watch this. I'm gonna turn this. No, to face, oh, actually, we got it backwards, I guess. So I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, mm -hmm. so I'm going to turn it this way. See north? Yeah. So, like this nose 
as long as there's no magnets around here. This knows that that is north. Is that where we are? Uh, no, because I don't have GPS connected. Oh yeah, this that's what that does. Is the GPS. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you something cool. Because do that again so you don't shock this thing. Hold that board in your hand like that on the edge. Grab the edge. There you go. And pretend like that's the plane. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> this way. Sit that. Oh yeah, you can take no, it. No, now do it. Okay. Imagine that being the ground. Okay. Lean and left. Lean and left. Go down. Go up. Down. Oh, that's down. And then that's. Up. Right, it must be upside down. Then flip the whole. Th oh no, it can't be upside down. Here, roll it one way. Oh, I know what it is. It's doing the right thing. <clears throat> it is actually this way because north is facing forward. So you mean this is the. So that's the front, and that's what it says. X, Y, and Z. See the X and the Y? Okay. Mm -hmm. The Y is facing that way. That's actually the direction of travel in this case. So now, now try to go up and down. Oh. Up, down, left, right. Okay. Oh. We might have those inverted, to be honest. Dude. It looks like we do have those inverted. Hi, Lily. So, how how cool is that? It's pretty awesome. Isn't that awesome? So we have real data coming back from this device, and you can actually see. Um, well, actually, these numbers don't even really tell you a whole lot. Here like the gauges. So here's your north. So so twist it. Don't worry about tilting it, but just twist it. So that's north facing that's facing north. Right there. Yep. And then you've got altitude, which is your height. With GPS we're gonna get that. Without oh, yeah, it, it doesn't really know. It's not moving. Yeah, and then speed. In order to do speed, we need to actually have a speed air sensor. So that may be something we can figure out at one point, but right now we can't do that. Uh, that, uh, VSI, to be honest, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, now you see all these numbers? Mm -hmm. Those are all the things we're reading from that board. And there's like a whole bunch of, of stuff. Yeah, it's, that's a lot. So like for instance, um, it says see, one see this says roll? Okay, roll is this. Okay. Now grab the thing and, and move that slowly and, and watch what happens. So when you get it flat, it should be really close to zero. So go the other way, go towards zero. Wait. That's negative, so you're going to go keep going the other way. And you went too far. So that's about flat. You see it's about flat. And then look, here's pitch. Right? I think pitch is this way. Try it. Yeah. Is it? Right? So that's pitch. So you got your roll and your pitch. And then you got yaw. And then all these other numbers are reading all the other things. So after so much freaking work, so much freaking work, it works. This is how flat. You know? So, so, and we can calibrate that, which actually I think it's backwards. What do you mean backwards? I think it's tilt it's wrong it's inverted it's backwards so i tried to calibrate this yesterday and i couldn't get it to work i don't know so that's what i'm saying it seems it's thinking yeah anyway there's some things i don't know what i'm doing to be totally honest um but the point is is that i'm happy enough where i want to try to put a gps on it that's what i want to try to do i also want to hook up a servo so Let's get one of our servos out of here. Now, there's some other really cool things so I can show you. Oh, you mean put the pins don't in Don't plug there. it in because I don't know which way. I know. Oh, right there it says positive, negative, and signal. But just hold on. So look, the other thing, when we go into radio calibration, compass calibration, so radio calibration, yaw, roll, uh, your pitch, oh, y'all must be this way. It's supposed to be y'all. Y'all. Yeah, so <laughs> your pitch, your elevation, and your roll, different terms, but the same thing is well, the elevators actually make the roll happen. Uh, or the ailerons make the roll happen, right? Okay. And then the 
the elevator makes the pitch happen and then the rudder makes the, the yaw happen so the same terminology same words it's just different things and then the other one here's throttle so when i get my receiver yeah when i get my receiver and my remote back because i sent it in um when i get those back we'll plug in the receiver and we should be able to see our controls remember how you could see it on the screen when you had control of your Mm -hmm. you, okay, that's what you'll see here. Mm -hmm. And then servo output. So you see these servo numbers? Mm -hmm. Watch. See how they're moving? Yeah. That tells me if I plug in a servo, it should be moving right now. You mean this? Yeah. Because it's outputting the number. So, so if you turn I it have... this way, then it's going to turn that way. But if I turn it this way, then it's going to turn that way. Yes. Something, because I don't know which I'm going to plug this into. I'm just going to plug it into a random one and see if it blows up. I didn't even check if it has power, but we should hear the servo kick on if we plug it in. Mm. Yep, it did. Did you hear it? It went boom. Yeah, let's try the other side. It's that. I mean, it's working. Yeah. So, it's a little jittery. Maybe it's on the, maybe 50's in the middle or something. Going. Well, we can probably set that rate. Because it's only on 15 and the other numbers. So if I do this, it's not really moving. If I do this, it's barely moving. Well, it is moving a little, but then if I do this, that's really moving. Yeah, to the so it's probably connected to the ailerons. And the rest are kind of jittery, but yeah, the rest and then is here, like, you hear where it, see where it says reverse? So the aileron, if we reverse it, so watch which way it goes. It's turning this way. Okay, now if I unreverse it. And turning this way. Yeah, so I bet you if we hit reverse and go back to our screen, this will be right now. No, well, it's still backwards. I don't know. What do you mean it's still backwards? It, so the gra when you lean the plane this way, then the ground funny. should lean this way. You mean like that? Yeah, if the plane's this way, the ground should be over here. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, if I lean it that way, then it goes oh. <laughs> I lost my mind. Anyway, so it, <laughs> is, so it is right. Okay. That's going to be loud on the camera and disgusting. I probably won't put that on there. <laughs> so, um, so basically... Ah, oh, it sounds like... Yeah, that's pretty bad. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, is even if we don't do anything else, right? Even if we don't yeah. do anything else, we don't need GPS, we don't need nothing. We just need a radio receiver, and we have our flight controller, and this will automatically level our plane. And then, you know how on your cheap remote you can flip the switch and it'll do beginner, advanced, and free? Okay, you can go in here and set the flight molds. So you can do the same thing. But we only have a three position switch, so I can only pick three modes. And then which mode you pick depends on which area of these channels you're in. So I can only I can only pick three modes. So I'll probably do like safe, level, and then like autopilot. Autopilot is like where there's nothing. Autopilot is where it'll we can plan a mission. So like if we go in here to plan and like, we go... That's our island, Riley. No, our... that is not an island, Riley. Do you know what that is? That's our country, Riley. No. That is Australia. Anyway. Oh. So, we can zoom in here, and I can like... That's Australia? I, yeah, I can like pick places, and the plane will try to fly to those places. So, you mean we can pretend like we're flying with the race car and stuff? Or like a fun course, and then it would just be following it. It will be following the course. That's that's cool. Isn't that cool? So that's the hope. But that's what we're trying to do here. We're, we're trying, trying to, to create this really cool thing. I think it would be so cool to see the like plane we could fly, fly it everywhere, around. and then it'd be so cool. And then it could come back and be like, oh, like the people who think that we it was like super far away, but we know where it is. And it's like, yeah. you think you lost your plane, but then it flies back. It flies like, back. Oh, uh, okay. 
Yeah, so the, the goal is, with the GPS, it'll it'll allow us to not fly outside of a certain area. So you still can fly pretty far, though. Yeah, or if we're flying and we don't feel like we're doing very good, um, we can, like, hit return home, and it will bring itself back because it, GPS. So we could, lo we could lose complete radio signal like we did on your day. We lost the radio signal. We couldn't fly it back because yeah. it was too far away. Mm -hmm. Well, this, if we lose radio signal... It'll fly itself back, as long as the battery's good enough. Isn't that cool? So, I mean, if I lose the plane, then I'm like, uh-oh, but then it just flies back. Yes. That's, that is that's, that's going to be cool. Yeah, that's one of the features that I hope works well, because that's why I want the GPS on here. That's going to be really cool. Why are you so tired? I don't know. It's All so right. horrible. It's so, like... our goal is to take that GPS module and get it wired up and just see if it works. That's our hope. That's Do I give you some soldering, maybe? Yeah, and that's going to be fun. I might have to do the soldering because of how small it is. Yeah, but probably. You can try. Anyway, so that's the hope. It's exciting, right? Yes. So if nothing else, at least we know the flight controller works and we can fly our plane just like this with this controller. That's the cool part. Yeah. And then we'll add GPS and then we'll add some other features and eventually we can bring a computer to the airfield. We can set it next to where we're flying. And we can watch all of our data on our screen. You mean there'll be like something there that's... Yeah, we'll see our plane on the screen. Cause it, because we got... Oh, so I didn't tell you. I have a radio receiver and transmitter coming that will send data back to my computer. And that way I can get all of the data that the plane has. So like right now, the data here, all this stuff right here. Yeah. If I, if I yank this cord, it's dead. Because the data is coming through this cord. I mean, so how are we supposed to get this into the plane? I'm gonna take. Having... I'm gonna take this cord. I'm gonna cut it right here, and then I can just stretch it as far as I want. It'll just work. Wait, what? You think that'll work? You mean you can just cut it? You think that'll work? No. No. I have to emulate a wireless link, like one of these little chips does. Okay, see this? It's got a radio antenna thing. Yeah. And then this side will be plugged into a USB, like this. Cut. Okay, this is sending this data wirelessly. You mean you don't have to have it plugged in? Right, so I'll have one of these on here, and one of these in here, on my, or on my plugged into my USB. And I'm going to get that data through a wireless link. Instead of having it wired. Exactly. See, data came right back. See that? Instantly. Went from Rock it. Just keep rocking it. Watch how fast it is. Instantly. So, anyway, so we're going to have a wireless link connected. <clears throat> and then we're going to have our radio receiver. So we're going to bring all our gear out to the flying field and like have some serious fun. It'll be hilarious. Now, my hope also is that if I get the GPS working... I can allow the plane never to go too close to the ground. It will just... It'll automatically level out. And I can test that by setting it really high in the air and then trying to fly down and seeing if it levels out, right? Overrides my controls. Yeah. So that's a way we can fly the plane without crashing the plane on its all by itself. One thing I want to question, how are you supposed to land this plane? Okay. You'd have to turn that off and then come land it. Make Otherwise sense? you would just go. <coughs> it would, nev it would never come go. down. Like, so, <coughs> so here's here's what's really cool. I can make it land itself. I mean, like this. Yeah. I can Does it have go? Yeah, I can literally make it land itself. You mean with the tracking cores or something? Yes. Cool. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. All right. So enough chit chat. That is the plan. This video is about the planning. Now we're gonna move on to some of the electronics. Let's go see if mommy needs some help, and then we'll come back out, okay? Mm -hmm. High five. This is going to be awesome. Isn't that cool? I know, I'm really excited. <laughs> to see this plane fly by itself. Yeah. I don't really think I trust the landing, but I've seen other people do it. Oh, yeah. I've seen other people do it, and it does work, but I don't want to do it around a bunch of people. I'd rather do it when there's nobody else out there. And then... And then. And, but I do want to try it. I mean, I may, I may try it. And just see, because that this GPS is accurate within 2.5 meters, which is pretty far. 
2.5 meters is a pretty good distance. It's like not accurate enough to land a plane in my opinion. So we can add another sensor on here which is a sonar to measure the ground. To actually measure how far the ground is when you get close. Okay. We can add sensors like that to this and make it really cool. I don't know if we ever get that far because I just we just need to get the thing in the air and just see if it even flies and just like figure out and then not crash it and like bring <laughs> it home in one piece and then figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. So yeah. anyway the cool thing is, is I can at least fly the plane now because I have this controller running. Pretty cool. Yes it is. Again. Yeah, you better get out of here. I will. This is gonna stuck in here. <laughs> it's gonna stink.